last one goes straight in. They're all set, and away they go. From the inside, we have Wild Promises, Lethal Heat, and Dawn After Dawn. Three inside horses are quick. Missit is going to tuck in right behind the leaders, and Caribbean Sunset dropping in behind that. Alongside of them, we have Maiden Princess. Got to have her is down at the rail, and Ballet Sizzle is last, 10 off the leaders. The head to the three-quarter pole and Lethal Heat not in any hurry at all for this kind of race. Got her ears pricked. Lethal Heat just loping them along on the lead here. Takes them along by a length and a half to Wild Promises. Dawn after Dawn scrapes the paint third. Miss it is in fourth. In behind that is Caribbean Sunset taking an ice hole. Back five off the leaders. Got to have her inside of that. Then comes Maiden Princess back second last. And the trailer is Bell Air Sizzle giving them nine length start. Past the five eights they go, and Lethal Heat got to be happy with the way it's set up out here, not getting any pressure at all. Having said that, here they come now. Now they're starting to turn the pressure on as they start to sprint for home. Wild Promises picks it up at the half mile. Dawn after Dawn in third. Now got to have her moving closer down at the rail. Miss it is on the far side. Maiden Princess right in behind those two. Caribbean Sunset in there too. And now Ballet Sizzle as they quicken, couldn't go with them. Now has 11 to make up. Coming to the top of the lane in the Palomar, and Lethal Heat goes on for home. Lethal Heat, still the leader, has it by a length and a half. Got to have her now coming out the pack to take them on. Lethal Heat, got to have her, is right up alongside Wild Promises, tries to battle back. Homeward bound in the Palomar, Lethal Heat, and got to have her, the two fillies running for the wire together. Got to have her, is wearing her down. Got to have her, Caribbean Sunset late. Got to have her, got to have her, and Tyler Bays have won the Palomar to Lethal Heat. Caribbean Sunset third, Wild Promises finish fourth. side wild promises tries to battle back homeward bound in the palomar lethal heat and gotta have her the two fillies running for the wire together gotta have her's wearing her down gotta have her caribbean sunset late gotta have her gotta have her and tyler bays have won the palomar to lethal heat caribbean sunset third wild
And the grade two Palomar handicap goes to Gotta Have Her. First up is winning trainer Janine Sahadi. Probably not the very best horse you ever trained, but I have to ask, is she the hardest trying, maybe the one of the most consistent you've ever trained? I think she's fabulous. I, I just adore her, and she gives me 110% every time I run her, and I can't ask for anything more than that. So um, I'm just really, really proud of her, and congratulations to Richard and Sue, who are in Kentucky watching, and uh, we're just we're thrilled. Tyler's done a great job, and I think we all deserve this a little bit, to be honest with you. So Everybody's put in a lot of work, yeah. especially you know the groom, Isaiah. Janine, and I've uh, I've only worked her a couple times, but she's just a joy to ride. She, she's so lovely. I know you're very fond of her as well. What might be next on the radar towards the end of the year now? I'm not really sure. I, we'll maybe look at the race at Oak Tree. She loves coming down the hill. She's undefeated down the hill, so um, we'll give her plenty of time and see how she's acting. I typically don't run her back this quickly, and I was a little nervous about it, so um, I've tried to really space her races out, and this was quick back for her, so... She'll have a little bit of R&R, &R and we'll go back home and uh, see how she handles uh, being back home at Santa Anita. Very well. Well, Gotta Have Her has earned it. Takes down the grade two Palomar handicap.